Streaming live now on News8000.com. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now, this weekend. Right now at 10, one person is in custody after allegedly driving onto the tarmac at the Lacrosse Regional Airport. Good evening and thank you for watching News 8 Now this weekend. I'm Michael Germain. There was a massive police response at the La Crosse Regional Airport today after a person allegedly drove onto the tarmac. According to a press release by the city of La Crosse, officers responded to a call of a person allegedly driving through a gate and boarded a private plane while people were still on board. Upon arrival, officers and airport staff had blocked the plane from leaving the airport. Officers then took the driver into custody. None of the staff who were on board the plane during the incident were injured. In a statement, La Crosse Regional Airport Director Ian Turner said, quote, Staff responded as they have been trained to handle disturbances that could occur on site and were able to maintain the safety procedures for passengers and visitors to the airport. Flights are continuing as scheduled. The city of La Crosse says the incident is still under investigation. Well, the humanitarian crisis in Gaza caused by the conflict in Israel is worsening. Arab and Islamic leaders held a summit calling for a ceasefire. Israel, meantime, has agreed to a short humanitarian pause each day to allow civilians to evacuate. CBS Christian Benavides reports. Palestinians are making the perilous journey south. They have a four-hour daily window where Israel has agreed to a humanitarian pause. To the near constant bombardment of Gaza, hospitals in northern Gaza are operating without power, nearing a breaking point. Patients have been told they need to evacuate. Israel says they've agreed to help the most vulnerable out of Al-Shifa, Gaza's biggest hospital. The staff of the Shifa hospital has requested that tomorrow we will help the babies in the pediatric department to get to a safer hospital. We will provide the assistance needed. Arab and Islamic leaders say it's not enough. At a summit in Saudi Arabia over the conflict, they called for an immediate ceasefire. Israel has said that would not happen until all hostages are released. Worldwide pressure continues to mount, from the streets of London to crowds outside President Joe Biden's Delaware home. We, we know what terrorism means in France, but I think there is no justification precisely to attack civilians. Israeli Defense Force is releasing new images of the ground war, showing weapons they say were found inside a kindergarten classroom. The IDF says Hamas is using civilian infrastructure to operate. Christian Benavides, CBS News. The Israeli military has accused Hamas of having an underground command center at Al Shifa Hospital. They claim both Hamas and hospital administrators deny. The Toma Tractor Supply held a free microchip clinic today. The event was held by the nonprofit pet rescue organization, hoping for a home. The chips were registered and paid for by the organization. Co-founder and president for the pet rescue, Amanda Richland, says that getting your pets chipped is important because it helps to reunite missing pets with their owners. Microchip is important because when, you're, when your dog gets off leash or in the event that there's a fire or a tragedy and your, your dogs end up in the, in the shelter, this is the best way for someone to get a hold. Um, it also prevents dogs from staying in shelters for extended period of times why owners are found. According to economy website MarketWatch, getting a dog microchip can cost between $25 and $60. If you would like to donate to Hoping for a Home, we'll have a link on our website at news8000.com. And a good Saturday evening to you. Kind of ch chilly today. We had uh, cloud cover for much of the day, even some sprinkles and flurries in spots uh, earlier this evening. Let's take a look at the high temperatures. Only managing 45 degrees here in the cross. Not too far off of average, though. Our average high is 48. 42, though, in Eau Claire and Black River Falls. 30s for highs in places like uh, the Camp Douglas area and uh, Sparta 41 and Barocca 46 in Prairie du Chien. We've got a mainly cloudy sky over downtown La Crosse at this 10 o'clock hour. You can see that light precipitation uh, rolling to the north and east. Not all of this reaching the ground, so that's why it was mainly just sprinkles and uh, even some snowflakes over northern parts of the state, uh, primarily north and east of Eau Claire. Current temperatures, 45 still in the cross, 40 in Eau Claire, 
40 in Black River Falls, 41 in Viroqua, and 45 in Decorah and Prairie du Chien. So mostly to partly cloudy overnight, breezy. Temperatures don't move much. We'll bottom out around 42 degrees. And here's a little sneak peek uh, later in the week and into next weekend. Look at how much of the country will be warmer than average. And I will detail that with my eight day forecast that's coming up in just a few minutes. Thanks, Bill. President Biden was at Arlington National Cemetery in Virginia today to honor those who have served this country. The president's visit included a wreath laying ceremony at the tomb of the unknown soldier and a speech at the cemetery's memorial amphitheater. During his speech, President Biden said that veterans need to continue to be honored even after completing their service to the country. Folks, as a nation, we owe them. We owe you not just for keeping the flame of freedom burning during the darkest of moments, but for serving our communities even after they hang up their uniforms, for inspiring the next generation to serve. During his remarks, the president also called the military, quote, the greatest fighting force in the With history of the world, and, and that Veterans Day holds a special place in his and First Lady Jill Biden Biden's hearts. Well, a little closer to home, the University of Wisconsin-La Crosse held a veterans breakfast this morning at the Mitchell Hall Gymnasium. The free breakfast was held by student athletes from all of UWL's college sports teams, and the event ran from 7.30 until 10.30 this morning. The president of the Freedom Honor Flight of La Crosse says the event is important because it helps shine a spotlight on those who have served. This is important so we can uh, bring attention to veterans and their service uh, in uh, World War II, Korea, and uh, Vietnam, as well as other veterans of uh, Desert Storm, Iraqi Freedom, and uh, in Afghanistan. The event also included a keynote speech from Wisconsin Army National Guard Assistant General for readings and training Daniel L. Palmacher. Excuse me. We here at News 8 would like to thank all of those who have served in the U.S. Armed Forces. Well, today was Waterfowl Observation Day at the Brownsville Overlook near Brownsville, Minnesota. Folks had the opportunity to check out tundra swans, puddle ducks, and diving ducks as they make their journey down south for the year. One ranger at the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services says the overlook shows the importance of animal habitats on the Mississippi River. So it gives people in the local community an idea of how important uh, this habitat is for migratory birds making treks up to thousands of miles away. Uh, they need somewhere to rest, somewhere to eat, and this is a really critical piece of the puzzle on their journey. Spotting scopes and bird identification, identification guides were available for visitors to enjoy. Folks also had the chance to see other bird species such as pelicans and bald eagles. Well, coming up on News 8, the Institute for Highway Safety has revealed new pickup truck crash test data that is showing mixed results. We'll break down the new data after the break. But first, a popular child's nightgown is being recalled tonight over warnings of possible burn risks. We'll take a look at what nightgowns are affected and what you should do if you own one. That's up next. Stay with us. It's the Veterans Day sale at Home Furniture, and everything is on sale. Get up to an extra 10% off sale prices and a free USA flag blanket with any purchase. Plus, get free shipping. The Veterans Day sale, now at Home Furniture. Are you looking for a high paying career without any experience? Chart Industries has the opportunity you've been waiting for. Starting wage $30 per hour, highest pay in the area, guaranteed 40 hours, so much more. If you are making less than $60,000 and want a healthy work life balance, apply at jobs.chartindustries.com today. That's jobs.chartindustries.com. For over 40 years, La Crosse Glass and Overhead Door has been the go-to company for anything glass and door. We offer a large stock inventory of CEHI garage doors to help you find the perfect fit. As a locally owned business, we take pride in our work and always get the job done. From commercial glass and glazing to residential glass and CEHI garage doors, we have the experience and expertise to help you. Call or visit our website today. 
For a limited time at Homeworld Rugs, when you buy one rug at sale price, you'll get another rug free with many different patterns, sizes, and shapes to choose from and rug experts in every showroom to help you find the perfect rug. Buy one rug, get one free. Now at Homeworld Rugs. Trucks come up short in crash tests and consumers hit a new debt record. Michael George has those stories in this eye on Consumer Report. Americans continue to rack up credit card debt. The Federal Reserve Bank of New York says credit card balances hit a new record, once again surpassing $1 trillion. That's a 40% increase from the beginning of 2021. At the same time, the average credit card interest rate is at a record high of more than 20%. There are mixed results from new crash tests on large trucks. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety says the four popular models tested performed well in side impact collisions. And during a head-on crash, the vehicles protected the driver, but they were given low scores at preventing injuries to backseat passengers. The report found seat belts in the back are not as effective as those in the front. Experts believe automakers will take note and upgrade seat belts in future vehicles. And the FDA is warning that seven people, mostly infants, have been infected with salmonella after coming into contact with pet food that's been recalled. The outbreak has been linked to numerous brands of dry dog and cat food made by Mid-America Pet Food of Texas. And those are some of the week's top consumer stories. I'm Michael George, CBS News, New York. Well, coming up on News 8, the 57th annual Holly Berry Fair. Well, all proceeds will go to School Providence Academy. And I'm meteorologist Bill Grawl. Note the lack of real cold air across the country. That's a little tease for my eight-day forecast. I'll share it coming up next. Want to see a magic trick? Taco John's is turning your dollar into mouth-watering favorites with the new BOGO for a buck menu. Get a signature Taco John's item, then add another for just a buck. Abracadabra, yeah! The new BOGO for a buck menu, only at Taco John's. Save big this Friday through Sunday at Hy-Vee. 24-pack Pepsi products, just $8.88. Basket and bushel green grapes, just $1.48 a pound. Mrs. Grimes beans or chili beans, only 69 cents. A dozen Hy-Vee large eggs, just 99 cents. Jimmy Dean bacon, just $2.99. And lots of matzo pizza, only $4.99. Get these great deals and more Friday through Sunday, only at Hy-Vee. Rent to Own would love to help you bag your deal for 10 bucks. $10 pays for your first month on anything in the store. So stop into Leibachins, Rent to Own, and bag your deal for 10 bucks. Offer expires November 30th. What you want, what you want when you want it. Uh -huh. Leibachins, Rent to Own. We've got you. It's a pledge to make sure you're always taken care of. A pledge that your Touchstone Energy Cooperative honors each and every day. When it comes to keeping things running smoothly or getting them back on track when they're not, we've got you. Always. Touchstone Energy Cooperatives, your source for power and information. It's Elvis Duran. Thanks for listening. I think what makes our show unique is perspective. Many different voices, many different points of view. If you're going to say don't ask me, we're going to ask you. <laughs> if you want to. Wow. We are just a family sitting around the table in the morning. Very dynamic individuals, though. Yeah! Yeah! Hi, it's Elvis Duran from the Mixed Morning Show. Wake up with us every morning on Mix 96. Ready? Of our hearts, happy holidays from Taco John's. Energy efficient windows with beautiful new wood trim installed by skilled carpenters. Contact the four store home improvements today for a prompt free estimate. High quality at lower prices. You expect more, so thank you for watching News 8 Now. Over 13,000 nightgowns sold by iMoon ZZZ are being recalled tonight due to a possible burn risk. According to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, the nightwear did not meet children's sleep or flammability standards. All of the recalled products were sold on Amazon from March through June and were sold in a variety of colors and sizes. 
The Consumer Product Safety Commission also says that anyone who owns these nightgowns should stop using them and contact the company for a refund. Well, it is never too late to get into the Christmas spirit. Today, the 57th annual Holly Berry Fair was hosted by the Providence Academy and St. James Women Group. The event featured a variety of different vendors where folks had the opportunity to buy baked treats, pies, and even jewelry. The fair also hosted a silent auction where attendees had the chance to win from an assortment of different prizes. Georgia Stockman, who is the chairman of the fair, says her favorite part of the event is seeing kids react to Santa arriving. Uh, the kids probably with Santa the, to watch when he walks in the first time and it's so nice to see when they look like, oh Santa's here and seeing them shop with their families. All proceeds for the event will go to the school Providence Academy where the money will be used for new textbooks and scholarship funds. Dovely is held every year on November 12th which symbolizes victory of light over darkness. Folks gathered today to celebrate one of the biggest festivals in India, which is also known as the Festival of Lights. The festival is celebrated each year between October and November, which lasts a total of five days. Every year the event is celebrated in the greater La Crosse area so people can come together and share their culture. Probably around six different Indian dance forms that will be performed today so people can experience that. And then after that would be the authentic Indian dinner um, so I think it's probably seven course. For more information on this story, you can visit our website at news8000.com. Well, now it's time to bring in first sworn meteorologist Bill Grawl. Hey, Bill. Hey, Michael. Uh, kind of a cool couple of days with highs in the 40s, but boy, if you're a fan of above average temperatures, I think you're going to like my eight day forecast. So let's get right to it. We'll head outside through City Cam, where all is fairly quiet. We've got cloud cover. We had some sprinkles and flurries earlier. Those are tracking north and east and out of the area. Again, 45. That's actually our current temperature, but that was the high today. 33 this morning. 48, 32 are the averages. 70 and 4 are the records. And boy, it's been a dry start to the month. Uh, no measurable precipitation as of yet through the first 11 days of the month and that includes no rain and uh, no snow at least nothing measurable just a trace on a couple of days and we are over six inches below average for the year in terms of precipitation 45 out at the airport 44 downtown with the cloud cover winds out of the south close to 10 miles per hour that's pushing our wind chill down to 41 the mississippi holding steady 5.25 40 degrees for you folks in eau claire with a cloudy sky Wind chill of 33 with a south to southeast breeze at 10 miles per hour. So again, uh, note the lack of any real cold air across the uh, region. We've got 30s and 40s, including that 45 out at the La Crosse Airport, 40 in Black River Falls, 43 in Winona, 41 in Barocco. Looks like some problems with the sensors in Sparta and Volk Field, so no readings there. Uh, winds out of the south at around 5 to 15, gusting uh, 20 to 30 miles per hour in those traditional, cold, uh, not colder spots, but open areas. The higher terrain of southeastern Minnesota, northeastern Iowa tends to be a little bit windier uh, at times. Now you can see that precipitation starting to track north and east and out of the area. Again, a lot of this was not even reaching the ground. That's why it was a little more than sprinkles and flurries and spots. And note the clearing taking shape to our west, and that's going to be in play for tomorrow with lots of sunshine. Still kind of breezy, but it will be warmer, and you'll see that in just a moment. So uh, partial clearing late tonight, some sunshine as we head into our Sunday, just some passing clouds to the north, and then mainly clear as we head into tomorrow night and Monday, also looking dry with a mainly sunny sky. Now, temperatures for tonight dropping to about 40 to 42 degrees in the La Crosse, Holman, and Onalaska areas. Upper 30s to low 40s will be common down to the south. As we head back to the north, a little cooler, especially north and east parts of Jackson, Monroe, and Clark counties in the uh, mid to upper 30s, and then 39 for low in Eau Claire. Look at these highs tomorrow, though. My goodness, upper 50s, right around 58, maybe 59 degrees in the La Crosse area upper 50s to around 60 down to the south and more the same as we head back to the north generally mid to upper 50s and that is well above average our average high in the cross only 48 degrees so my forecast for tonight mostly to partly cloudy still kind of breezy but uh, not overly cold 42 for the low Still breezy tomorrow, but warmer. All that sunshine will help as well. 58 for the high. Still mild Monday, 58. Low 60s Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. A couple breezy days on Tuesday and Thursday. Also mainly dry. Cold front could spark some fl uh, sprinkles Thursday night into Friday morning, but otherwise uh, mainly dry eight-day forecast. So very quiet and mild weather for the next several days. Michael? Thanks, Bill. 
Well, coming up in sports, the Eagles look to remain perfect. UWL hit the road for the final game of the regular season as they put their undefeated conference record on the line. Kate Overton has the highlights after the break. Monday on News 8 Now at 10, we'll take you to Trompolo County where they're taking unfortunate accidents and turning them into a solution for food insecurity, how the program works and its growing success. Monday at 10. When you're looking to update your home, shop the Habitat Restore. The Habitat Restore offers a wide selection of new and gently used building materials and home furnishings at an incredibly low price. From furniture and cabinets, windows and doors, appliances, vintage items, reclaimed lumber, and everything in between. The Restore has what you're looking for, and new products arrive daily. So before you run to that big box store, shop the Habitat Restore, providing families with a place to call home. One of the best selections of commercial vehicles in the Midwest can be found at Osseo Automotive in Osseo. From medium duty trucks and vans to super duty work trucks, cube vans, chassis cabs and more, you'll find the most popular commercial vehicles from Ford and Chevrolet all in one location. Take advantage of Section 179 tax savings before the end of the year. Get to work with a new commercial truck or van from Osseo Automotive in Osseo. Shop online at osseoautocommercial.com. Quartz takes a different approach to health insurance. We know every life well lived is a journey. And we're here to light the way at every step. That's why for 40 years we've been alongside the doctors and hospitals who know what their communities need. Because they're a part of them. Because we're a part of them. There's a fire burning in all of us. Let's ignite it together. Quartz, find your spark. Hi folks, Harvey Wood of Wood Sells a Service here. American-made Landmaster UTVs are built from the ground up in Columbia City, Indiana. The Landmaster team takes pride in their work from start to finish, starting with raw steel made in the USA. Then they fabricate, bend, weld, powder coat, assemble, and test every UTV. Landmaster provides their customers with the toughest, most versatile UTV made. Check out our large selection of Landmaster UTVs at Wood Sales and Service, Black River Falls. Family owned and operated for 55 years. WoodSalesService.com. Covering all of the exciting action from your community, here's News 8 Now Sports. Welcome to News 8 Now Sports, I'm Kate Overton, and today the UWL Eagles had the chance to finish perfect in WIAC play for the first time since 1996. Let's go to Stevens Point, Eagles versus the Pointers in the last game of the regular season. First Eagles drive resulting in points. Kaiser Heltebrand lofting it up to big Mark Rokovic. The tight end reels it in, puts lacrosse on the board. After a pointer's punt, lacrosse back to work. Third and long, Heltebrand with a strike over the middle to Zachary Watson. He hauls it in to extend the drive. And then later, now fourth down inside the 10, perfect play goal. Helterbrand swings it to Wyatt Lamone and the Marshfield native walks it in for six. UWL wins big, clinching a perfect conference record and are solo conference champions for the first time since 2004. They'll find out who their postseason assignment is tomorrow afternoon. In Division II, the Winona State Warriors are ending their season with a win. They took down Minot State 13-7 and finished their season 5-6 overall. That full screen didn't get taken, so let's go to the VO, to the Wisconsin Northwestern game, over to Camp Randall, Badgers taking on Northwestern. First quarter, first and 10, and Tanner Mordecai lets it fly. Vivian, Vinny Anthony makes the catch, first down Badgers. They would end the drive with a field goal to take a 3-0 lead, but the Wildcats would answer. Ben Bryant dropping back, has A.J. Henning wide open. That's a touchdown, Northwestern takes the lead. Second quarter now, Northwestern knocking at the door again, and this time Bryant Rolls out and takes it in him, him takes it in himself. Wildcats take a 14-3 lead and they weren't done. Bryant taking a shot to the end zone. Cam Johnson coming down with it. Wildcats rolling and the Badgers offense never showed up. With 15 seconds left, Jackson Aker rushed it in for the three-yard score, but too little, too late. Northwestern gets the win 24 to 10. We had another Eagle football team today with a big match as the UWL women's soccer team was hosting the first round of the NCAA Division III soccer regionals and they found themselves up against UW Superior. Let's go to the pitch. A win today and the Eagles host round two 
Tomorrow, the Eagles offense was buzzing in the first half. Ellie Arndt with the shot on goal, but Quinn Clark with one of her 18 saves on the day. Later in the half, Maggie Hernandez takes a crack at it, but Clark is there with another nice save. Then in the 33rd minute, Clear Cater crosses it in. Yellow Jackets with this stop, but Ellie Benke is there with a rebound, a laser into the back of the net, and that was all they needed. 1-0 the final. UWL will take on Simpsons College tomorrow at 3. Over in South Dakota, the Viterbo women's volleyball team got the job done for the ninth straight year. They took down Bellevue 3-0 in the North Star Championship match, and they've yet clinched their spots in the NAIA National Tournament. They'll find out their pairing and location on Monday. Now for some women's college basketball at Viterbo. The V-Hawks hosting the Mount Mercy Mustangs. First quarter action. Viterbo starting a little slow, but they find the Arcadia great Ellie Hosley in the corner. She knocks it down. V-Hawks starting to heat up. Second quarter now, and it's the Westby grad. Macy Stellner cuts to the basket, draws the contact. Bucket and the foul make it a three point play. V Hawks lost their lead near the end of the first half, but Emma Wagner keeping them in it. She nails the three to cut the lead before the half, but the second half was all Mustangs as Mount Mercy would run away with it 87 to 56. All right, to the NBA, Bucks on the road taking on the Orlando Magic. First quarter action, and how about Big Brook Lopez putting up the three and knocking it down? Bucks up five. Second quarter now. Bucks trail and look out. Giannis coming in hot, lays it in. Bucks trail by two. Milwaukee now down 19, but look at Giannis. Oh my, put him on a poster. That was nasty. Bucks trying to stay in it around the horn of Middleton. He gets the corner three to go, but this one was a little out of reach. Franz Wagner slamming it down on the cut as the Magic get the win 112 to 97. A couple of NFL games slated for tomorrow afternoon. Packers going on the road, taking on the lockdown defense of the Pittsburgh Steelers. This one set for noon. Kickoff right here on CBS. And then over in the Twin Cities, the Minnesota Vikings going for their fifth straight win as they take on the Saints. Josh Dobbs with a full week of practice. We'll see if he can keep the magic going. I'll have co full coverage from both those games tomorrow. That's all for sports. We'll be right back. For residential, commercial, or high-speed doors, come to Lacrosse Glass and Overhead Doors. We carry a variety of CHI door styles designed to fit your vision. Get your free quote today. News 8 Now and Dairyland Power Cooperative present the Community Calendar. The 59th Annual Holiday Fair takes place November 16th through the 19th at the La Crosse Center. The Holiday Fair is for children of all ages with special guest appearances by Rudolph and Santa. Door prizes will be given away every hour. Join us for Music in the Marsh, a concert to benefit the Nature Place, featuring the music of Tom Chapin, Thursday, November 16th at the Nature Place, Myrick Park. For more information on these events, or if you'd like to submit an event, visit news8000.com. Get ready to save some money because it's still going on. The King Furniture Total Renovation Sale with hundreds of recliners, motion furniture, bedroom furniture, and more. All drastically reduced. Over $2 million of quality name brand furniture at incredible prices. Like these Lazy Boy recliners starting at just $2.99. Queen mattresses starting at $3.49. Reclining sofas starting at an incredible $6.99. Do not miss the King Furniture Total Renovation Sale. And here's your weather for this holiday weekend. Holiday weekend. There's a high pressure system coming from the north. I'm not even shopping yet, though. What am I going to do? Hey, buddy. <laughs> Make it easy on yourself. <laughs> holiday scratch games from the Wisconsin Lottery are here. With prices ranging from $1 to $20 and top prizes up to $100,000. With so many games to choose from, it's easy to find gifts for everyone at your local lottery retailer. How do you like that? Hello? This is a real lawyer. Yeah, I've won a million cases. And I'm on a bunch of billboards. Whoa, 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 buddy. If they want the real Nicolay, they should get the real Nicolay. Fine. Thank you. Russell Nicolay here. Yeah, we can help. In a world full of choices, make sure you get the real Nicolay. How'd you even get in here? What are you doing answering calls? Where's your mom, man? 
For residential, commercial, or high-speed doors, come to Lacrosse Glass and Overhead Doors. We carry a variety of CHI door styles designed to fit your vision. Get your free quote today. In honor of Veterans Day, the American Legion Post 336 held a special ceremony today to honor not only those who served, but the ones that stand besides them. News 8's now Shaquille Davis has the story. It made me recognize we need to at least look at our spouses and how they have impacted or been impacted by what their spouses have gone through in deployment. Unalaska American Legion Post Commander James Benash wanted to celebrate Veterans Day a little differently this year. Instead of just honoring those who have served the country, he decided to honor the significant others of the vets after a trip to Colorado this past summer. They showed me a book, Songwriters for Veterans. In there, it did some poetry and wording where they put music to what they had gone through. James also points out the hardships for spouses when their significant other is deployed. They've got to be strong not only to take over the family, but when that spouse comes back and if they are dealing with any PTSD issues when they come back. Robert Muth served in the Vietnam War in 1969 and believes this day is a time for everyone to reflect. Instead of going for a career or school or start a family, they took a portion of their life to stand up for this country and, and to serve. And I think this day is a reflection for all veterans. Robert is thankful for Veterans Day because it shows the recognition that once escaped him. A lot of people wouldn't speak to me. We weren't treated like all other veterans. Um, so Veterans Day to me means a lot. The one thing that James wants those in attendance to take away from today is the importance of communication. So when you gather like we are today, you can hear everybody talking in the background. They get a chance to talk about things. Where did you serve? What did you do? And then that kind of makes a connection. In on Alaska, Shaquille Davis, News 8 Now. It's the Veterans Day sale at Home Furniture, and everything is on sale. Get up to an extra 10% off sale prices and a free USA flag blanket with any purchase. Plus, get free shipping. The Veterans Day sale, now at Home Furniture. It's time to go tankless with a new Bradford White Infinity Tankless Water Heater from Maxwell White. Upgrading to a tankless system allows you to have unlimited hot water whenever you need it, no matter when you last used it. Hot water is an integral part of everyone's life, so let the experts at Maxwell White help you choose the best water heating solution for you and your family. Trust the company that's been keeping La Crosse and the surrounding areas comfortable since 1994. Upgrade to a tankless today and never be left without hot water again. Rely on Maxwell White. Plumbing done right. Hmm, Thanksgiving. You want something extra special for Thanksgiving, right? Yes. We have chocolate turkeys, turkey truffles, and fresh roasted nuts. Oh, perfect. I wonder if they have advent calendars. Here we have a great selection of advent calendars. Great, I always get one for the girls. Don't forget gold coins for St. Nicholas Day. Wow, you're so good. Well, it's kind of easy when your thoughts are... Fanati's Nut and Chocolate Shop in downtown La Crosse. Escape the chaos of everyday life and experience true relaxation and improved health at Revive Wellness Spa. Unlike any spa in the area, Revive Wellness Spa is your first choice for self-care. Our services include red light therapy, meditation pod, an infrared sauna, a float tank, and so much more. Call or book online today and receive up to 60% off your first service. Don't forget to ask about our detox specials. Craving authentic Mexican flavors? Look no further than Senor Villa. At Senor Villa, we bring the taste of Mexico to your table every day. Join us for our unbeatable $5 lunch specials packed with flavor and value. And don't miss our nightly specials where the fiesta never ends. Senor Villa, where great food meets great value. Visit us today. Senor Villa, the taste of Mexico you've been craving. During the Veterans Day sale at Home Sleep Express, get up to 10% off sale prices on quality mattress brands like Luxuria and Thomas Cole Sleep. Plus, get free delivery and setup and a free USA flag blanket with any purchase. The Veterans Day sale at Home Sleep Express.
Get ready for some above average temperatures. Now lows tonight, not overly low. Lower to middle 40s in the La Crosse area. But check out these highs over the next several days. 50s, even some 60s on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Kind of breezy tomorrow, Tuesday and Thursday. Mainly dry over the next day, eight days as well. Well, we want to thank you so much for watching News 8 Now. We'll see you tomorrow night.